you know, if you get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it, because you know the trolls are going to come after you and say, oh, yeah, that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop, too, real quick. Which would be... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's right. I have Back again with another video. Let's get it poppin', man. I know y'all see me. I see y'all. We been in here, locked in. Let's see what we finna react to today. How do I do the, like I'm stroking some pause. Look, we back again with another video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's get into it. I don't know if y'all know who EDP is. I'm new to EDP. I never really knew who he was. And I saw this pop up on my uh, Explore page. So I'm like, you know, why not react to this? You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it real quick. The tragic tale of EDP 445. Has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's apparently completely out of money and as a result, has been evicted from a few different properties and is now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. Oh, However, the craziest update in the EDP 445 tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself has actually been put behind bars. All right, look. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is why I don't like the internet too much, because, like, the internet is cool and all of that, but once you, like, once you put your life out there, man, like, everything becomes public information, if I said that right. You know what I mean? Like, so it's best to walk around like a good Samaritan, even on your digital footprint, to like move the way you would want to carry yourself out in public in the real world. Because if you really look at it, there's social media, there's the internet, and it's the real world. If you had a real job, like he, the internet is his job, you got to be on your best behavior. So this is what happens, you know what I'm saying? Like now you're getting blackballed from everything because you want to be out here tweaking. This is the uh, Henderson, Nevada, Texas. Felipe. Center. Inmate Brian Morley would like to receive the call. And I said, I said, yes. Why he, why he got, so why he got, the, I hate how like, you know, fun, you know what would be the funniest shit when niggas is recording with their sunglasses? I got to stop cursing. When people are recording with their sunglasses and you can see the reflection. Like let's say I got my camera right here. And you see the reflection in the back of the camera. I just find that funny. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's just, it's just funny. I just wanted to point that out. I mean, y'all probably don't care, but. But right now, as we speak, he's applying to have his name legally changed. However, in a world of tit for tat, when you unavoidably reap what you sow, it's hard to say that this punishment is undeserving. And in this video, you'll see how bad things can truly become if you plant weeds in your garden as opposed to flowers. To what extent should a person's life be ruined for the mistakes made in their own past? At what point, if ever, should EDP 445 be forgiven for his own foolish decisions? Does EDP 445 work completed prior to his cancellation hold any residual? Your value was it really completely and utterly useless from the second he showed up to that cursed Bakersfield motel. We asked this last question because prior to the 18th of April 2021, things were actually going reasonably well for EDP 445. If Alright, so look, I'm not even too sure what he did, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I did hear something about him being involved with uh child pornography or like you know, uh touching somebody or or uh trying to talk to an underage minor or something like that. And if you do some shit like that. You deserve everything that's coming for you because one, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Two, we're adults. You can go in the street, go to a bar and find, no disrespect, but you can find the fattest chick with her stomach hanging out her, like, her fucking shirt and like kill that. You feel me? Like, well, you going for kids? Like, you sick. You know what I mean? That's just weird. Basically, what I'm saying is if you settling for kids, it's not because you can't get anybody else. It's because you're dirty, digger. Excuse me. You're just dirty. His social blade graph, you'll see that he gained 520,000 subscribers over the course of two months in April and May of 2020. People loved him because he was one Got of the last green few juice. YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional mind was always spoken <laughs> Hold on, let's, see, let's read some of these titles. How I Handle Trolls, that's funny. When you move in with your BF, a punchable face. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I do remember seeing him back in the day. Like, but his videos were so short where it was like, yo, he's funny as fuck. Let me just watch another one. But I didn't know he was a dirty bastard. 
Spooky stood out as unique. It's not surprising either. In a world where everyone else online is always walking on eggshells, trying not to offend anyone, EDP 44 flies brash attitude and unapologetic approach to life were somewhat refreshing for those who saw the world in a similar way. However, of course, such an approach wasn't without controversy. In 2017, as a result of his unconventional content, he'd be banned from YouTube for a period of two weeks, oh, wow. but Twitter was a little harsher, placing a ban on his main EDP 445 account permanently. Wow. Additionally, after hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, you, you know Twitter is a little more or less strict, like, you know what I'm saying? So for them to ban him, that's, for them to ban him, that's ridiculous refused to send EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility criteria. Wow. Because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. I'm like, my channel has zero community guideline strikes. It has zero copyright strikes. EDP would gain support from other large YouTubers, such as some ordinary gamers, who stated that the refusal was stupid. YouTube, can you just give this dude his play button? If he doesn't get his play button, I'm gonna buy him his play button. While well, EDP was also made a custom YouTube play button by a fan of the channel, displaying the love and support he had from the community at the time. However, perhaps YouTube and Twitter were able to see something of objectively that those who loved and supported him could not. They might have seen that a man with such an unfiltered mind may have also been hiding some dirty skeletons in the closet and correct is what they would eventually be. On the 18th of April 2021, EDP445 was caught in 4k on his way to pick up a cupcake. The topic was covered by almost e Wait a minute, what they mean by cupcake? Famous YouTube EDP exposed, my response, I damn, uh, EDP 445 situation. Wow, wow. I'm late. In the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you have at least heard of the EDP 445 <laughs> situation. Creators who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested immediately. Why is EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, what? he considered EDP unforgivable and his life would subsequently descend into a state of chaos. What you might call the beginning of the end. Oh my goodness. They do him dirty. In the seven days following the expo, damn. Damn. this is EDP's damn. Yo, if, if his ad revenue wasn't blocked, he'd be caking. Caking! P445 would lose 200,000 subscribers, almost 10% of his entire count. However, how many followers he lost initially didn't actually matter, because seven days later, his remaining 2 million subscribers would disappear entirely after YouTube decided to ban his account wow. altogether. At the time of his banning, EDP was exactly 30 years old, and had been creating content since 2010 when he was 19 years old. Wow. So the 179 million views deleted in the process wow. made his entire portfolio of work That's over crazy. his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor was wiped out quite literally overnight. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for earning an online income was Cameo. You could order a personalized video and get EDP to say anything you instructed him to for the low price. I wonder if his shit is still on Cameo. I'm about to add this video on the check, but I'm gonna see. I want him to say some funny shit. Of forty-four dollars. However, following the infamous cupcake event, Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who oh, received wow. responses along the lines of, "Hey, wow. Robert, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware of the allegations and are actively investigating." Yo, the internet is a bunch of snitches. Yo, y'all be on the internet not having fun. Y'all just be looking for trouble, trying to snitch on niggas. Like, I'm not gonna front. Some people deserve it, but like others, just be minding their business. And some things that you, ugh, I'm not defending him. I'm just basically saying niggas just be out here doing the most for people they don't even know. Like, bro, like, come on now. You got a co-worker that you're scared to confront because you pussy. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, kindly Melita. Less than a week later, wow. EDP 445's cameo account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. Yeah. EDP 445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers, he'd be banned from the platform. Wow. It was the same story over on Instagram. Damn. His main account was terminated. At which point, EDP was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation. However, just before his Facebook was deleted, he'd make one final interesting announcement. He planned on making his own website to which he would continue new posting videos. EDP445 announced over on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website to return to his old video type, I guess. This one let you guys know, man, EDP445.com. 
Um, it's coming soon. It's been, been about like a week, maybe two weeks from now. EDP 445 seemingly got to the point of fully building the website, as discussed by Tipster here on YouTube. It still says coming soon, still says today's date. It does look like EDP is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing. However, after an apparent falling out with his website developer, as mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, the website is now returning an error 500. So oh, wow. Yo, do you, I, what do y'all think, y'all? Yo, yo, chat, what y'all think? Do you think, like, whoever his developer was got word that, like, yo, you shouldn't be doing this and that caused the conflict? Because you never know, like, somebody could give him the word, like, yo, hey, listen, I need you to, I need you to stop that EDP website you're working on. And then they, like, oh, I can't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's in the motion. Well, we need you to create this conflict and then maybe he'll, uh, and then you can just back out because, you know what I'm saying? So, you never really know. If you don't, if you, if you know, you know what I'm saying? Things could be put in motion behind the scenes in the snap of a finger and the flick of a thumb. Like, you really never know. Hold on. Oh, I fought it. He's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site. Hasn't been working so well for him. As it is day, the page remains as wow. a launched inactive website. In spite of how much of a scumbag EDP 445 truly was, you have to give him credit for sheer detail. Do y'all know what EDP stands for though? Emotionally disturbed person. Because he then begins to upload videos on another third party website called Three Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. He wrote, For some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guidelines. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP 445 was slowly getting the message from each and every That's website. Ridiculous. His career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like this quality is fire a box however it was only going to be so long before the trolls would come and inform them of his past but i don't even know if you can get a damn job at starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come after you and say oh yeah that guy you just hired i wouldn't keep him employed you probably lose a job at that coffee shop too real quick which would be correct in this statement EDP 445 moved from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada following the expose where it seemed as though he managed to land a job as a lift driver in October 2021 however this job would be fairly short lived as a video posted to TikTok by a user called Lennon Jimenez would expose EDP 445's lift profile wow. where went from wanting cupcakes to driving for lift and his position as a driver wow that is crazy you're not safe out here man subsequently be removed by the company. The situation wow. would promote Reddit discussion with one post stating EDP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received comments such as, can you take me to the grocery store? I'm gonna go buy some cupcakes. Wow. And he doesn't get on any food delivery apps. MF would eat my fries and I'd have missing slices of pizza. However, oh my goodness, I gotta screenshot this. This is getting screenshotted right here. Definitely going in the thumbnail. This is funny as fuck. <laughs> Somewhat hilariously, it was revealed shortly thereafter that he had in fact been driving for both Uber Eats and Grubhub, which would also both fire him after finding out about the drama. Wow. He was driving Lyft, he was driving for Grubhub and Uber Eats, and all three of those companies fired him. According to a very basic unconfirmed source, EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese, but for obvious reasons, didn't seem to get the position. Wow. EDP 445 no Oh, so he definitely was in trouble for trying to fuck with kids. Yo, that's, that's really crazy. Like, you gotta be a sick motherfucker to try to fuck with kids. Like, that's disgusting. Disgusting, dog. Niggas is dirty had the ability to make money online in real life as this revealed unless he were to find some extremely low skilled niche job where they wouldn't check his name online and where he wouldn't have to interact with any customers who might expose him to whichever company he might be working for with so many obstacles in the way of finding even the most basic of jobs it's hardly surprising to find out that edp has been attempting to change his name legally the application shown on screen states that bryant morland applied for a name change with the nevada county court on the 21st of october 2021 the strange part of about this is that when you try and search the court register from the reddit post by typing in his name Bryant Morland it now states that there are no results found possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer known as Bryant Morland I'm not gonna lie look I'm I'm all I'm all for making dirty individuals pay for the dirty thing <coughs> excuse me pay for the dirty things they've done but it's like to the point where it's like yo damn son like I don't know, like, you know, get him off the internet, but, like, what he does in his personal life as far as his work occupation that he chooses, like, a nigga gotta make a living, too, so I'm playing devil's advocate, because at the same time, it's like, 
you know, that's just, that's just, that's just how he going to feed himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, he doesn't have a family, but how he going to feed himself? And he's a big dude, so he should be good, you know what I'm saying, in, in the winter. But still, it's like, damn, like, you know, he has all of his, all of his avenues that he was banking on. Done. See, I did type in his name, Marlon Bryant. Submit. No results found. However, the problem with this, as outlined by the ADP 445 subreddit, is that he's not exact. You're not getting uh, ad revenue terminated. Get out of here, guy. Ah. Is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He will be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyway. What good does changing the name do when you're as easily recognizable as him, lol? He needs to lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. That's Perhaps also true. To have his name hidden for long That's enough. also very true. Show, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money. He's broke. Like, YouTube made him money, but after having that, he got it broke real quick. A user by the name of Master at Work, who was one of the people trying to expose EDP all the way back in 2020, stated in October that EDP had less than $3,300 cash left in his account, plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell. The only income that he has, other than the $3,300 that he has left in his bank account, is maybe the forty grand in weapons and the two cars that he owns. However, in the two months since October, uh. users on Reddit used his car's license plate to confirm that EDP 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He had an actor at MDX? Damn, my guy. You had to sell your MDX? Damn, you doing bad. Plus ADP's financial situation. He also mentioned that ADP had been evicted from his apartment complex. Oh, and property wow. And received numerous complaints about having wow. been as a tenant. Call That's... Expert Apartments and verify for yourself. Um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of a cost, constant harassment. Wow. That has been getting. Since then, ADP That's has been living out of a suitcase at various Damn. hotels. However, even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens to be staying. He's a danger to everyone in there. Okay, so I just called security. Yeah. Go ahead and let security know. All I will security. be more than happy to let them know. Thank you very much. Wow. ADP's Yo. There's a fine line between saving the day and just doing too much. Like, you you out there with flyers trying to get this nigga evacuated from a motel. That look like the motel Norman Bates worked at. Like, you over here trying to get him. That's just whack. I, I don't know. I, that's whack to me. Life that's whack. Being held. That's whack. But if that's anything, whack. an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable. We'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with crazy. it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today is October 25th. It is 11.30 at night, and EDP has been arrested today. And he was actually arrested today. But I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence, to which there seems to be none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd uploaded a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. Wow. So the third time I picked up, uh, I was, you know, hello, and it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. We'd like to receive the, the call. And I like hung up, you know, and then called again. And the same the same thing happened, you know, we'd like to receive a call. So I, pre I said yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see like, holy sh like, wow. you got arrested, like, Come on, man. Like, you, if your your friend is a terrible person, yeah, he's a terrible person. That's your man's. Like, honestly, he called you because that was the only call he could make. Possibly, it's fucked up. Answer the answer the man. Like, 
wow you know the issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller id calls on his iphone wow. which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least and felipe's character is suspect at best he only gets views when he talks about adp 445 and without adp on the internet to defend himself anyone can say anything additionally if adp did successfully change his name in niggas is just using his name for clout now or November, as mentioned That's previously, black. this would prove the story That's to be black. fake, as the guy stated it was Bryant Moreland on the other end of the phone. One comment stated, looked up every inmate record in Clark County, which is where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. Mm. In the end, it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison, as it's safe to say that EDP is a man who made a mistake so bad that even outside of concrete prison walls, he barely has a drop of freedom that's true oh man look is edp a shit face yes does he deserve what's coming to him or what came to him yes 50 50 reason why i said like bro he lost his income he lost his youtube channel he lost all of his his, his connections and now everyone's trying to get him locked up come on now like i feel like they're going overboard but with that being said, I understand, but it's like the internet. Like I said earlier in this video, bro, the internet just has a way of just being extra, doing the most, but look, that's not for me to judge. I, I stay out the way I'm on my business, but yo, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to check out the real video, look up that title right there, but appreciate y'all. Smash that like, subscribe, I'm going to catch y'all. I'm out of here.